Man, I played a lot of Mike Tyson's punch out growing up. <laughs> and he doesn't want to make this mistake of Von Kaiser and wiggle that mustache between each uh, punch because then, of course, his opponent would sidestep and counter. So oh, he's prepared not to wiggle the mustache. We'll see. I, I, I really don't think he's nervous. He has 13 mixed martial arts bouts, and this is his second boxing match, so I don't feel like he's, he, he's, he has any nerves. And the crowd can't fight for you. That's correct. Good That's jab. correct. Good jab by Murphy. Jordan, very experienced amateur with over 110 amateur bouts. And that shows you how he was able to build that, that fan base before having a single professional bout. And in fighting that many amateur bouts, I mean, you have to fight so many styles from so many camps and training camps and areas of the world. And there is no picking and choosing. If you're open class, you fight whoever's there. Good jab. Good sharp, sharp jab. Very quick reminder to Steve Merrill of those 100 fight experience that Jordan Murphy has. Oh, good right hand. Oh, oh, and hurt. both of these fighters, like Hagler and Hearns, just letting their hands go. They're letting their hands go. Now, Jordan Murphy, yeah. this is the only problem with having so much fans, so much excitement, so much energy. He might go crazy and get caught with something he doesn't see. That's the only worry I have for Jordan Murphy. He could. You were talking about the, the calmness of Steve Merrill, and you can get too excited with your friends and your family. There's that old adage that orphans make great boxers because they're not worried about impressing anybody. Just a reminder, not at all. And, turn and he took Jordan Murphy's best shots, and he's still the there. Oh, good left hook. Thank you. Steve Merrill turns south call for a little bit. A little bit of low in the action, but when it goes, it goes. <laughs> See, moments like this, once again, you'll hear me repeat the jab, the jab, the jab, an educated jab, moving it up and down at moments like this. When there's nothing going on, that jab has to be pumping. And the jab, it's offensive, it's defensive, it's, it's feeling out your range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's throwing off your opponent's rhythm. And obviously, just like all the young, other, the young fighters coming up, his favorite fighter is Floyd Money Mayweather. Jordan Murphy's. Yes, Jordan Murphy, correct. Goes by Jiggy. You know, some fighters hear that 10 second. Oh. Some fighters hear that 10 second warning and they say, okay, let's wrap it up and get back to our corner. And these guys hear that 10, they say, oh, we only got 10 seconds left. Well, let's do this. I did like, I did like Jiggy, which I'm talking about Jordan Murphy. I like his upper body movement. I'm liking everything I see. And that comes with 110 amateur bouts. He's comfortable in there. The only thing I, the only thing He's doing wrong in my eyes right now. He's, he's, he's pushing up the, he's, he's, he's doing too much. He's doing way too much, and I know he wants to get the knots out in front of all his fans, but he has to calm down just a little bit, just a little bit. And you have to wonder if that's what Steve Galazzo is telling him right now. Hey, you've got this. Easy, take it easy, let it happen. His trainer Galazzo has been training him since he was eight years old. I know, being an experienced trainer that Colazzo is, is telling him, calm down, you'll get the eight knockout. Eight years old. Eight years old. What took him so long to pick a sport? <laughs> you know, kids that young, they do baseball, they do basketball. I'm kidding, eight years old. He yeah. knew what he wanted, and yeah. he knew what he wanted yeah. young. Yeah. And he's showing it tonight. But not if Steve Merrill has anything to say about no. it. He'd love to be the spoiler of this story. Hey, Steve Merrill's coming to fight. Now, he, one thing he has to do is pick up that level. Jordan stalking his prey. 
Now he starts going down to the body. That's something. There you go. And what are, what's your thoughts on going to the body in a four-round fight? Of course, it's a strategic Let's thing early in a longer fight. In a four-round fight, what are your thoughts about body work? Hey, body work is important in any round. You have to invest to the body. You're hurting him to the head, and I'm talking about Jordan Murphy. But the guy's not going anywhere. Now, guess what? Plan B, I got to go down to the body and then bring it up to the head, and that'll eventually get the knockout for Jordan Murphy. Jordan Murphy, excuse me. The body's always important. And that's one thing I didn't see in the first round, but he's starting to invest in the body in the second round, something that I know his experienced trainer told him. Now that's, that is rolled a knockdown. Elevate. And this is where the referee says, looks at him, says, step forward, do you seem okay? But boy, Murphy comes right back. But Merrill's fighting back. Merrill's, Merrill's letting his hard. hand go. What a fight. Referee stops it. Sam Burgess stops the fight. You know, I saw Merrill fighting back. I saw him, I saw Merrill fighting back. He was fighting back, but he was getting hit with hellacious shots. Well, plus, I have no disagreements on the stoppage. And it's coming also, too, it's coming immediately after a knockdown. And so a lot of yes. times when you see a knockdown, you gotta show something after that. And it was with a right hook to the body, he hurt him. Same thing I was saying. He was going to the head, going to the head, going to the head. Steve Merrill is a tough customer. As soon as he went down to the body, got the knockdown. We associate knockout shots with head blows and concussive blows, but uh, you're right. How many times do you see a body shot, a shot to the liver, someone's legs go, go right out from under them, and their mind's there, but their body's not reacting. A perfectly placed body shot will paralyze your body. I've been hit with a couple good body shots, and I couldn't breathe, I couldn't focus, I couldn't think, I couldn't talk, I, and it hurts, it lingers. And the crowd, understandably excited. <laughs> oh my, what an atmosphere. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause. For both fighters, please. Ladies and gentlemen, from Gulfstream Park in Hallandale, Florida, your referee in charge, Sam Burgos, calls a halt to the bout at 1 minute 50 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, now 1-0 as a professional from Deerfield Beach, Florida, Jordan Jiggy Burgos!